Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a SIP voice gateway. For configure a router as a SIP voice gateway, we need to type some commands in router side. Then we need to create a SIP trunk on CUCM side. Finally, we need die pairs on our gateway to send outside calls to CUCM and need route patterns on our CUCM for send calls to voice gateway for outside destinations. For sure, we need E1 or T1 or ITSP Internet Telephony Service Provider for call to outside. In this video, I'm covering connection between CUCM and Voice Gateway. Let's get started. We need to go on Global Configuration Mode and then type Voice Service VoIP. Then we need allow connections command. SIP and H323 dial pairs can be configured on the same gateway. But call routing between the two types of dial pairs is disabled by default. To enable this routing, we need to type allow connections command. Now we need Toll Fraud Prevention Command. As you can see, this feature needs prerequisite for configuration. Unfortunately, my router doesn't support this feature, but I can show you how to configure it. After configure, you need create IP address trusted list. And they can call you. But for lab scenario, you can disable it. And I saw some people disable this feature in real world, but I'm not going to recommend it. But that's totally up to you. Okay, for disable this feature, you need to type no IP address trusted authenticate. It's not apply because my router doesn't support this feature. But you get the point. Now we need to configure fax command before enable SIP. OK, then type lower speed redundancy.
Now we enable SIP. We need to type bind control and bind media commands, and that's it. And this is my voice interface, Pass Ethernet 00. There are more commands for configure, but for now, that's enough. After we configured our router, we need to go on our call manager. Now we have to go on the device, trunk, Find. There is no trunk, so add a new. Trunk type, zip trunk. Next. Device name router one. Device pool default destination here. We should type router IP address. SIP profile, standard SIP profile, SIP trunk security profile, non secure, then save. OK. OK. We can enable options ping for our SIP gateway. That is a good option for troubleshooting. So we need to go on device, device setting, SIP profile, standard SIP profile, copy, and uh, give a name, and then enable IP options ping. Here it is. Save. OK. Then we go on device, trunk, our router. And we have to change C profile. C profile, we already choose a standard C profile. Now we created Standard C profile ping. This one and save. After you change something in your trunk, you need to reset it. Reset, close, and go. As you can see, the time in full service, time in full service in two minutes. Now we finish connection between CUCM and SIP Gateway. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure route patterns and die peers. Thank you for watching and good luck.